Welcome back. I am less than 30 days away from a trip to Rome and Florence that I have been planning for a long time. And uh, I, I do want to do photography on this trip, but I am rethinking the way that I am going to be conducting my photography. And I'd like to get your opinion on whether I'm doing something smart or something stupid. So typically when I go out on a photography trip like this, and, and it's not just about the photography, but it is a, a big part of what I'm doing. I would take the Canon R6 Mark II. I have the 35 millimeter prime on here. I would either take this or the 28 millimeter to do my walk around street photography style shooting. I would also take the uh, 24 to 240 lens to get sunrise, sunset, other kinds of landscape style photography. I have two or three spots picked out that I want to go to to get that kind of photography. And I would take the new RF 10 to 20 full frame to take inside churches, cathedrals, to get those wide angle, beautiful, dramatic shots <laughs> with all of the artwork and, um, you know, the beautiful stained glass and the ceilings and all that goes with it. If you're going to take all of this, then, of course, you have to take a tripod. And my tripod of choice is the Peak Design uh, Travel Tripod. And I usually use it without the ball head because it's just easier and lighter to carry around. However, to go inside those cathedrals and things, I would need something else. I would need the platypod and a ball head. And this is the platter ball, and it, it's my ball head of choice. I love this little thing. Beautiful. I would also need some uh, some filters, so I would take a few um, indie filters, my circular polarizer filter, along with me to get those things, and, of course, batteries. That's the bare minimum of everything that I would ordinarily take. And out of all of this... I'm leaving all of it at home except for one item. So let me show you what I am taking. So this is it. The only thing that I'm taking that I would have taken anyway is the platypod. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to do all of my photography on the iPhone, every bit of it. Um, I am going to do a series of videos in Rome and Florence on how to do travel photography with your phone. And so I don't want to be burdened down with having to go out with my camera and my lenses and all that stuff to do a particular kind of shot and then carry that around all day while I'm just using this. So every everything that I will shoot, including my Life in Motion Diaries video, will be done on the iPhone. Instead of taking the Peak Design, I have the Ulanzi MT-79, which, um, you know, is sort of a big selfie stick with legs. And I can use this to steady my camera when I'm doing landscape photography or particular photography out across the skyline of the city. <laughs> it also does great to hold my camera um, sort of you know, out away from me a little bit if I'm going to do a talking head video while I'm walking. So I am taking the Ulanzi MT-79. I mentioned that I am taking the platypod. In addition to the platypod, they have a level disc, and the level disc allows me to put this on the platypod to give me a smaller screw size, which allows me to connect my micro ball head and the Joby phone holder. So this is, let me just separate these two things real quick. This is a Ulanzi micro ball head, and it will screw down on top of the platypod. And then I can take the Phone holder put 
put it in here, and then I can use the ball head to sort of level it up, get shots if I want to go up to ceiling in the ultra wide or whatever I want to do. I don't have to take a tripod with me to use this. Now, in addition to that, if I'm in a really cramped small space, I may just let me take the phone off of here to make this handling this a whole lot easier. If I'm in a cramped small space, I can just use this disc. And that is my stand for the phone. So I can get really, really small if that's what I want to do. If I need to get up off the ground a little bit more, I am taking the Platypod extension tube, which obviously it has the larger screw thread, so it goes on the Platypod. And then I have to get down to the micro threads here at the top. And then this screws on here. And again, I can do platypod shooting, but get the phone up a little higher. So if I'm doing those dramatic ultra-wide shots inside of a cathedral, I might use this just to get the phone up high enough where I can actually see the screen when I am composing the shot. Now, in addition to all of that, I am taking a uh, one terabyte SSD card uh, so that I can get all of my photos and videos off of the phone, clean up space every day, have this stored as a backup for when I get home to do editing. And then I have a Ulanzi, call this off here, a Ulanzi filter holder. You're going to hear Ulanzi a lot. I've been buying a lot of their equipment and I've been satisfied with most of it. This is a MagSafe kind of filter holder. It just clamps on your phone, and it, it, it has an adjustable thing, so it fits multiple phones. And then if I want to put a filter on, it's also magnetic, and I have, this is the Black Mist filter, which I've been using a lot when I'm doing video for the uh, Life in Motion Diaries. In addition to the Black Mist filter, I also have a circular polarizer, and I have a 1 to 5 uh, variable ND filter. And they can all go on here if that's what I need to do. I can fit all of them at one time. Now, the last thing that I've bought is this little Yuanzi MA30 phone stand. And again, pull this off of here. This is... A magnet phone holder, it does come out. I can't use this in a church because it has feet, obviously, so I can't use that for that. But I have used this to sort of like do walking style videos, holding it just a little bit farther out from me than normal. And then I've also used it quite successfully as just a tabletop uh, phone holder. When I was sitting down at a table, maybe having a cup of coffee or having lunch, I could just set this down, go with it. I I like this little this little uh, phone holder because. Oops, let's turn this around where it actually covers the. Uh, so if I have this, I can also have this, and so all of that works very seamlessly. One of the things that I like about this little phone holder is that, as I just about throw it on the floor, it has a little carabiner on it, so I could just attach that to my belt loop. It's with me all the time. The black mist filter or whatever other filter I want to use, I can just put that, and it will just slide down in my pocket. I can pull it out, put it on the phone, slide it back in my pocket. I've got everything that I need. So this is my setup, and um, I think it is going to work quite well for me. I did a lot of iPhone photography when I was in uh, Cambridge and Ely. They turned out wonderfully. 
And so um, I'll talk about my settings on the phone and and other kinds of things. What I'm planning to do is probably a 10 to 15 video series that I will put on my coffee account as a pay what you want kind of situation to get access to those videos to learn how to do very simple to more complex uh, iPhone photography for travel photography or even family portraits or those kinds of things. And because it's pay what you want, if you go there, when I, when I get it finished and it's posted, I'll put a link on this channel with a video about it, as, long as, links, as, as well as links on my other two channels. If you want it for free, you can, you can get it for free. If you want to pay me 99 cents, you can pay me 99 cents. If you want to pay me 499, pay me 499. I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't pay more than 499. But if you want to give me like $199, I, you know, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so this is my setup. This is all I'm taking. It's very lightweight, very mobile, very easy to maneuver. You let me know in the comments, have I lost my mind, or do you think that this is something that you might like to try as well? We'll see you next time.